gonna start with some easy bar curls. Um, I'll go close grip with it. And you know, just warm up just a little bit with no weight. We're gonna start light too and warm up there too. I just wanna warm up. That feels good. Mike, do you wanna hit this with, with no weight? Oh, are you gonna do that first? You gonna freestyle? Oh, I'll just gonna warm up. That's cool. You know what's crazy? I can like, I feel I can extend my arms way easier now. But before I'd be uh, I'd be kind of scared when I'm doing curls, especially for the left side. I'd be doing like things that are one arm at a time because if I'm doing something like easy bar curls, for some reason my left bicep was just not keeping up with the right. Not in terms of strength, but like in terms of just felt out of alignment. So it would always feel like it's gonna pop if I fully extended it. But now that shit, uh, I don't feel it anymore. I think it's because I've been doing these stretches right here. You know, trying to touch. Getting this shit right. I don't know. Ever since I've been focusing on that and getting some good results, I don't feel that anymore. So, get that shoulder mobility. Hips feel better. You need hips for everything, man. Boxing, dancing, weightlifting, cool shit calisthenics, all type of shit. Gotta get your hips good. Um, I don't need to add weight just yet. I'm doing four sets. Planned on in and at uh, 45 on each side. So I'm gonna work our way up there a little slow, you know. That muscle line connection. Mindful. Feel these hips more. <sighs> That's powerful. <laughs> Yeah. Sleep somebody. <laughs> Boom. So when we're doing curls, try your best to keep your elbows still. You want to find a nice stretch on the negative, and you want to find clear contractions during the positive. You know, the bicep is a small muscle, so you want to really focus and feel that shit. You know, making sure it's not your shoulders or you know momentum getting the lift up. So make sure you're trying that throughout every set. Yeah, that shit's heavy. And I still feel like I gotta be careful even though I said all that. I'm still feeling like cautious and shit. Cool, that's cool man, cause we're gonna move on to something um, where we're not dealing with so much heavy weight. We're gonna do some volume stuff. Incline dumbbell curls, man. When you do those after, Something like this, like you get to a heavy weight and you're banging them out, get that blunt force trauma in. Then you switch to like volume, but specifically on that exercise, your biceps are feeling like they're about to blow up. My hands will start twitching sometimes. Yeah, so we're going to do those. set of the incline dumbbell curls. I did two sets of 20 and 25 and we ended with 30. And now we're going to move on to some cables, man. We're going to do some hammer curls, but we're going to do with the ropes. Um, get a nice pump from that. Superset 
We'll do some um, close grip pull-ups as well, you know? Get some body weight stuff in there for biceps as well. So we'll get four sets of these as well. I can kind of turn my elbows in more so I can get a uh, expose the triceps a bit more. Um, let's see what we're we gonna do, man. A good guideline, you don't have to take it, but you know, I figure they call them skull crushers for a reason. So, you know, touching your, your forehead is kind of a good guideline. You wanna keep your elbows still. You, know, you can come down just like right there. You don't have to touch it every time, but just a good guideline. shit's feeling hella tight you could you know put that maybe try putting the elbows out a little bit or you could even try a wider grip but I feel like the wider you go it kind of puts you in a compromised position as well because um, then you're bending your elbows like this and it's just kind of wide so just find what works man just make sure you're safe while doing it nice big tricep exercise but your fucking core has got to stabilize with that shit so it's nice um, which brings us to the next exercise we're gonna do body weight skull crushers so yeah like I just mentioned with your fucking core like I just said it gets your core involved it's really gonna get your core involved with the body weight ones we're gonna use one of these benches I'll show you what it looks like yes okay on to the body weight skull crushers so we're going to use a bench like this. I put some weights on the side because um, it's too light by itself. I'll knock it over during the exercise. But here's what you're going to do. The trick is you have to keep an interior pelvic tilt. So you got to keep your abs real tight and your hips in. You can't do this, a posterior pelvic tilt. You don't want that during any part of the movement. And that's what's going to make this difficult. 
So, that's what you gotta make sure you're doing. So you want it in, not like out, or like that. You want your shit a straight line. are going to be especially hard because we're doing them right after the uh, easy bar skull crushers. So yeah, that shit's hard. Yeah, it's going to be hard to keep your abs in like that, but it's going to actually strengthen the whole body and just have you feeling like a better athlete. You know what I mean? So we got to do four sets of these. I wouldn't really try to, I mean, I went to failure, but I wouldn't really recommend going past failure. Because when you do, your lower back starts to give out and you start doing that banana back. And then you just build up a lot of tension in like your lower spine area. And it's not good tension, it's like gonna fuck you up. So I'd rather just be careful. You know, I went till failure, but like once I felt everything giving up and I couldn't stabilize everything, like nah, I'ma just chill because you might hurt yourself. And then you really got to chill and sit on the sidelines and you can't make any gains. So we're just trying to train smart. We got four sets of those. Um, I want to do some more body weight stuff, so I want to do some dips. I like dips, man. It correlates with the power and strength that I need for what I'm trying to do in life. So let's bang some dips out. It's nice to get them in whenever I can. And just to keep shit moving, get us up the gym faster, make shit harder too. We'll superset it with um, some cables, some rope pull downs. my legs up not always but you'll feel the uh, you'll build compression strength you know get everything up you'll feel your hips and like your glutes and everything just get crunched up in there and it's good because it's like a skill you have to develop it's hard for your muscle to like contract everything or balled up like that usually when you compress you know a lot of other stuff it'll start to like disengage and everything won't work as a unit so it's something you have to work in like you got to build that skill up to be able to be just as strong as like this compressed and getting every muscle working it's nice because then you can like you know you get up there
fried. Triceps are fried, man. All is done. All is complete. For today, at least. <laughs> I always feel like rhyming. I feel like dropping. I feel like dropping some bars right there, but we'll save them. We'll save them. You guys, make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. All that. Yeah, we gonna bring it right back. And y'all gonna get them gains and overlap competition. Boy, I can keep going, but I want y'all to go get your gains. I'm not even gonna hold you. Go get your gains, all right? Get them arm gains, man.